In the summer of 2015, I wanted to do something different, creative and challenging with my music. I wanted to push the limits of myself and my music so it reached places it may have never have gone before. The result of this was the islands, an eight week adventure that took me to eight different islands off the coast of Ireland to play eight gigs and to write, record and release eight songs about the journey. Along the way, I visited Bear Island, Inishmore, Inish Turk, Clare Island, Cape Clare, Inishir, Inish Boffin, and Valencia. What began as a creative adventure became a collection of memories that I'll never forget. Playing gigs really is such a small part of touring. The, the whole reason we do it is for the adventure and just that every day is going to be different. And I think this whole experience has definitely pushed the limits of that. Every single island is completely different. All the people we've met have all been completely different and interesting in their own right. And it's genuinely something I don't think I'm ever going to forget. It's just been such a crazy adventure and it's kind of, kind of sad to think that now that we're after going out to all these beautiful remote places that now I'm just going to go back to the city now and it's all going to be over. Um, there's something I want to take home with me is that there's almost a new found sense of pride for my own hometown. Because every island we went to everyone was so proud of where they came from and they wanted to show us how, how great their island is and that's something I want to take home with me back to Limerick. I want to show people how, how great Limerick is and, and have people feel that same sense of pride that they have because it was really it was heartwarming to see. Um, so that's something that I, I'd love to take home with me. If I was to do it, do it again, what would I do differently? I honestly don't think I'd change a thing because some of the weirder, stranger situations were kind of like, what the hell are we doing here? Kind of almost make for the best memories. And no matter what trip you go on, whether it's just a holiday or if you are going on tour, I think it's the people that you meet along the way that shape it. And I said from the very start, I said it was going to be weird and wonderful and that I was hoping that I would hit both ends of those spectrums and I wouldn't change it because I think I really have hit both ends and while the whole thing has been so much work and so tiring that there really are some things I'm never going to forget so I don't think I'd change a thing to be honest. If I was to pick one highlight of the whole thing, I think it was played out in this Shark where only a handful of people live there, only 50 people do live there. And about 35 people came to the gig and they were all so appreciative of it. I've never really kind of experienced that before and everyone was so interested in the song that I was going to write that I almost kind of felt like a certain amount of responsibility to write a good song that, that they'd be that they'd almost be proud of, which, which is kind of a daunting prospect, but it's an incredible feeling to know that kind of it's getting a bit bigger than just yourself when you get tired in the bedroom and that it means more to people. And the, the whole project, as it's every week, it's gotten, it's gotten bigger. The amount of people that have been paying attention to it has gotten bigger. So I couldn't, couldn't have asked for more, really couldn't have asked for more. Everything that I hoped to get out of it, I got and more. The biggest thing I learned is that no matter where you go, even if places that you're going to, that people are very different and were brought up and raised in a very different environment to you, that if you're honest and open to someone, they're going to do the exact same in return. And in Ireland anyway at least, no matter where you go, you are going to be welcomed. Um, some of the places I was playing, you know, they were really like kind of secluded, just local pubs, the type of places where you know, sometimes you, you might not think you'd be welcomed into, but that wasn't the case. And Yeah, I just kind of feel 
I, the whole thing almost has given me a new sense of pride to be Irish, to be honest. Just how welcoming people have been and how how supportive of the idea complete strangers have been and they've helped me achieve something that I will never forget. It's something that I'll be eternally grateful. I do want to thank everyone that I met along the way and everyone from the island, anyone that paid any bit of attention to the whole thing. Um, because yeah, I definitely too feel a new sense of pride for being Irish and, and a new love for our country. It's, the landscape we have is just second to none and sometimes it's completely unspoiled and that's almost something that I like too because some other places around the world that are just over flood, the tourists they kind of lose their sentiment. Whereas that's, that's not the case out in the islands, it's because they're so remote. There's kind of a certain sense of beauty that that they've kept to themselves and, and that's something that I love them. I think I have I have learned to appreciate the different parts of Ireland a lot more now. The islands is over. The whole experience is quickly coming to an end. Um, it's been an absolutely incredible experience. Eight weeks, eight islands, eight gigs, and eight songs. i just really like to thank everyone from the islands, everyone that have put me up, put on a gig, anyone that i met along the way, anybody that has spread the word, and for everybody just for listening and watching, um, and just for supporting the whole thing. So I'm, I can't express how grateful I am for everybody for helping me out for this whole project because even though this is just a one-man band, um, there has been so many people involved with this whole thing to make it happen and I'm really proud that the, the whole thing did go ahead. It's, it's been the bones of six months planning and just to have it all, all work out so well, it's just something I'm so grateful for. So thank you to anyone that was involved. Mm -hmm.